My name's Nick Dornack and I'm the Plum Creek Watershed Coordinator. I was hired last March to help uh, the, uh, the folks here uh, improve water quality in Plum Creek. And one of our primary contributors to the bacteria contamination and sedimentation that we're seeing in the creek are feral hogs. So we've had some plans uh, to deal with the feral hog issues over the past. Uh, most of that is focused on outreach and education. We've had wildlife services come in and, and fly about 20,000 acres uh, a couple of years ago to some success. Uh, but we felt that we needed to really focus more on involving landowners, involving our stakeholders, the, the counties, the cities here that are starting to see impacts from feral hogs, the uh, agricultural groups, Farm Bureau, Independent Cattlemen's Association. We really felt like we needed to find a way that we could bring all these folks together and really address this issue and really come at it from a lot of different angles and, and build support. So. Last fall, uh, the Texas Department of Agriculture had its third round of the Hog Out County Grants program. With the Hog Out County Grant program, we felt like we would like to see both Hayes County and Caldwell County participating. So we went to the county commissioner's court and they approved a $2 bounty on feral hawks to coincide with the program that ran October through December of last year. Uh, we had local businesses donate prizes. We had feed stores uh, with volunteers that we trained on how to issue the bounty that went from everything from identifying what a feral hog tail actually looked like to documenting all the data, the location where it was taken, and then issuing payments to landowners. So um, we had a $2 bounty that ran October through December of last year, and in Caldwell County, uh, we actually uh, documented over 1,000 feral hogs being harvested. As it turned out, that was the third most hogs in the state, and coupled with the educational component of this program, we received a $5,000 grant from the Department of Agriculture to uh, continue our efforts and move on in fiscal year 2013. So with some of that money, we were able to purchase a system from Wireless Traps. And uh, we've set it up here. We recently got it set up here at the Carter Ranch and this is located right on Plum Creek. We have actually a, a, a pretty big hog highway coming through here, uh, coming down to Plum Creek to some lands to the south that are not highly managed. We've recently submitted a grant application to the Department of Agriculture that would involve uh, multiple wireless traps that the county would be able to purchase and then issue to landowners to use for a month or two at a time on their property. And the beauty of the wireless trapping system is they're mobile. We can move things around very well when you combine them with the going fencing system. We have volunteers that are signed up that are well ready and willing to move those traps around the county. It's very easy to use. All it is is a downloaded app onto your cell phone. And we can have multiple folks watching the trap at the same time, which is great. Uh, last night, Stuart and I were communicating over uh, you know, a hog that we were watching in this trap at like one in the morning. So, uh, it's something where you can have a lot of a lot of help a lot of people come in and we can be mobile and responsive uh, if we've got a, a big hog problem we can move a trap to the area take care of it and move it it also gives folks an opportunity to try out this technology without having to purchase the whole system right up front they can try it out see if they like it and we think that it'll really encourage them in the future to manage their feral hog population. What we'll see is improved water quality as well in the creek. Uh, less hog activity in the creek is gonna improve water quality. There'll be less erosion. There'll be uh, less di direct deposit of fecal bacteria into the creek if we can get that feral hog population uh, down to a point that uh, it's, it's a manageable situation. So um, it's been a great working with the folks at Wireless Traps, uh, very responsive. I, I really think the technology is is there and right for what we're doing and it's really easy to use which i think is really critical for folks that may not be real comfortable with with high-tech devices uh, it's a really simple way to do it and if we've got some old timers out there that aren't necessarily interested in iphones and wireless traps 
uh, but they're interested in letting us use the trap out there. We've got a group of volunteers that are willing to watch those traps from their phones at night too. So um, we've we've got a we'll, we'll work it out with with a, a, a broad base of support and communication to really make this trapping program I think a success. I think it'll be a really good program for us.